is the preaching of the word of God manipulative? Hmm. The other day I posted just a small video. It was, it was actually a short from one of my messages. And in that I'm talking about addictions and, and, and I just make the statement that nobody can overcome addictions. Nobody will overcome, get help. You can't help anyone until they're broken enough to realize that they, that they need help. Somebody took offense to that and they um, actually wrote back, called me a manipulative devil. And they're the, thing that bothered them, they, they wrote back to me, well, I kind of corresponded a little bit, and they wrote back and, um, and uh, said that the, 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 the trigger word for them was the word broken, and that they felt like we live in a dark world, and using that word broken is, it was, uh, was harsh and wrong. I, I've reached out to him again. I, I'd like for him to be able to explain to me if there's, uh, if there, you know, in my day, um, that word would have uh, described a person who comes to the bottom of themselves. They realize that they are no longer to help themselves and maybe things have changed uh, in terminology. And I'd like to at least know why. Um, I'd like to know something about that. But one of the things that uh, he said, so after uh, speaking to him about it, a little bit, he has said, okay, well, I won't call you a devil but he hasn't dropped that he thinks I'm manipulative. So I, the question is, is, is the preaching of the word of God manipulative? Well, I'm thinking about the places where a person can get their worldview. And one place that we as believers, we get our worldview actually from the word of God. And a lot of how we understand the word of God comes from the preaching of the word of God. We do invite people, encourage people to read their Bibles on their own regularly and spend time in the word of God, studying the word of God, listening to the Holy Spirit of God to speak to them. But we do believe part of that process is through the preaching and the teaching of the word of God. Um, on the other hand, then the other worldview is it comes from the educational system, and which um, at least in the very earliest stages is called compulsory here in the United States of America, it's called compulsory education. Compulsory, you're compelled, you're forced, you are required to get this worldview. They are, you, they, you are required to learn. And now compulsory education began, it was supposed to be reading, writing, arithmetic. That's not what it is anymore. It is definitely, no question about it, they are teaching a, uh, a worldview, a way to view life, and, um, uh, and it is uh, opposite, and, and not only opposite, but opposed oftentimes to the Christian and the biblical world worldview. But it is compelled on. Nobody is compelled, at least not at an independent Baptist church. Nobody is forced. Nobody is compelled to come to an independent fundamental Baptist church. In fact, we're just the opposite. We uh, we would are quick to say that um, we believe in free will. Um, if their person isn't using, if they're not freely and willfully offering worship to the Lord, um, then uh, uh, you know they're not. Then then it isn't what the Lord wants of them anyway. It certainly isn't what we want. Uh, we we are quick to tell them you don't have to read the Bible to go to heaven. You don't have to come to uh, church to go to heaven. You don't have to do the things that we preach and teach uh, to go to heaven. Uh, we don't have any real tool that we can use to make people do what uh, uh, to to make people come and to submit themselves to the preaching of the word of God, other than we believe this is something that God um, is pleased and honored by, and we want to give God um, that honor. We want to give God that worship. So uh, I'm going to challenge the word manipulative. We're not manipulative in any way, shape, or form. We believe what we believe. We believe the word of God teaches us that the preaching of the word of God is an effective means to proclaim and to get out the message of the word of God. We don't force it upon anybody.